Hi guys, so today I'm just going to be showing you guys a quick video of how to get um, any type of discoloration out of your blonde wigs. Um, if you made any type of mistakes, as you can see I have a little purple in my hair, so I'm going to show you guys how to get that out. So first you're going to start with a bowl. Um, later on in the video you're going to see me grab a bigger bowl. Um, because you cannot fit a wig inside of the bowl that I have right there. I got a little baking soda and I'm just pouring just a good amount inside of the bowl. Um, enough that you think, you know, the wig, enough for the wig. You guys know what I'm talking about. You get a little um, dish soap. Any type of dish soap will be good. It really doesn't matter. Just get the soap that you wash your dishes with and pour it inside of the bowl with your baking soda. And at this point, I'm arguing with my sister because she told me to get a bowl and I was apparently supposed to get a bigger bowl. So I'm going to come back to you guys once I get a bigger bowl. Okay guys, I ended up getting a bigger bowl and I so forgot. Well, I had pressed record and it wasn't recording the whole entire time. I'm so upset, but I'm going to show you guys all that I did. I got my bowl, I put the baking soda and some dish soap and shampoo. That's the part you guys missed. I put shampoo inside of the bowl and I put warm water inside of the bowl also. The water has to be warm, it cannot be cold. It doesn't have to be super hot, but warm enough. And right now I'm just dipping my wig inside of the water and we're gonna let it sit for 30, <laughs> 30 minutes. After your 30 minutes is up, you come back to the bowl, check your wig. Um, you can do it twice if you have to. Um, I think I did it twice. I can't remember. I'm just now putting a voiceover a couple days later. But that's besides the point. Um, right now, I'm just combing out any type of knots or anything inside. Um, as you can see, uh, I had little purple strands in my hair. And you can kind of see the water is purple now um, from the beginning of the video. Um... So that just lets you know that it is coming out. And I did come back and check on it after about 15 minutes for the 30 minute um, wait or whatever. Um, it was still kind of purple at the bottom. But so I just, I let it sit for another 20 minutes or so. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing right here, but I'm just gonna talk. Um, yeah, so really I'm just sitting here uh, rubbing in all of the shampoo and soap inside of my wig. You guys probably can't see. Oh, there you go. But um, I'm just massaging it inside of the wig to make sure that, uh, you know, you get everything. I pour the wig. I mean, what am I saying? Jesus, I cannot do voiceovers. Um, you pour the water to the sink, of course. Make sure you clean up behind yourself, of course. And, um, yeah, so you just scrub the hair for about, like, five minutes or so. Um, just to make sure that you get majority of everything out. And make sure you get it good. And make sure you wash it out good, too. You wash it out with, it, does, it really doesn't have to be warm water. It can be warm or cold water. But I'm just going to let you guys know now, it took me forever to wash the soap out of this hair. Like, it took me a good hour or so to get all of the soap out. Um, I don't know why. Well, of course, it's soap. But still, um, it was just crazy. It took forever. I was, I was washing it in the sink at first and then i ended up washing it in the tub because i'm like okay maybe this just isn't enough water yeah it took forever um 
So yeah, I'm going to just let you guys watch from here. And I'll come back if I have anything else to say. Okay guys, after an hour of washing ha my hair, this is what it turned out to be. When I blow dried it, all of the purple strands were gone. I hope you guys like this video and I hope it's helpful for you. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if you guys want to see more.